The gastrointestinal simulator, also known as the GIS, is an in vitro multi-compartmental dissolution apparatus. It is used to measure the dissolution rate of pharmaceutical solid dosage forms. I'm Gordon Amidon, professor uh, at the University of Michigan and have worked in the dissolution drug absorption area for 40 plus years. Uh, and we're developing this uh, in vivo predictive dissolution methodology, the gastrointestinal simulator, based on that accumulated knowledge and the continuing studies that we are doing now. The GIS consists of three separate chambers, a gastric chamber to represent the stomach, a duodenal chamber to represent the proximal small intestine, and a jejunal chamber to represent the proximal to mid small intestine. In addition to these three chambers, two additional containers are present to hold secretion fluids that are pumped into the gastric and duodenal chambers during the experiment. The GIS provides a better representation of the physiological environment than conventional single compartment dissolution devices. These typically contain an unrealistically large volume of a single type of fluid. The fluid properties in each chamber within the GIS, such as pH, buffer species and concentration, as well as bile and lipid concentrations, can be designed to mimic the desired gastrointestinal segment. Our goal is to develop uh, an apparatus, the GIS system, that a formulation scientist could use before going into human studies to determine what is the best product to use in humans. It has a different objective and a different goal than the quality control apparatus, which has many other measurements associated with quality control of a pharmaceutical product. At the start of the experiment, rotating paddles are lowered into the gastric and duodenal chambers and the contents are stirred, in this case at 20 RPM, with additional rapid bursts every 25 seconds. The dosage form, in this case a tablet, is placed in the gastric chamber and the four system pumps are started via the computer graphical user interface. The drug product typically begins disintegrating and dissolving in the gastric chamber. Stomach fluid, as well as dissolved drug, solid drug particles, and excipients present in the gastric chamber are transferred to the duodenal chamber in a first order manner, typical of humans. This means half of the stomach contents are emptied in approximately the first 15 minutes of the experiment. The gastric secretion pump moves secretory fluid into the gastric chamber at a constant zero order rate, typically set at one milliliter per minute. Duodenal fluid, as well as any dissolved drug, solid drug particles, and excipients present in the duodenal chamber are emptied into the jejunal chamber. Further dissolution of drug typically takes place at the duodenal and jejunal chambers. The flow rate out of the duodenal chamber is set to keep a constant volume of fluid at 50 milliliters. The volume of fluid in the jejunal chamber increases with time as no fluid is pumped out of this chamber. The pH of the fluid in each chamber is recorded throughout the experiment using pH probes that are immersed in each chamber. Samples of known volumes are removed from each chamber at regular intervals using pipettes. These samples are prepared for drug concentration analysis via UV spectroscopy or high-performance liquid chromatography. After the contents of the stomach have been emptied from the gastric chamber, the system is shut down and the experiment is complete. The dissolved drug concentration profile in each chamber can be used to predict the in vivo performance of the drug product. Higher dissolved concentrations in the duodenal and jejunal chambers can be indicative of enhanced in vivo performance. The apparatus we have just demonstrated is a prototype the University of Michigan has been improving on over the last three years. We are currently developing a more enhanced and reliable GIS. The next generation system will provide formulation scientists a robust platform for comparing and selecting oral drug product formulations.